Juneau, Alaska is a small Alaskan community that has a really big ski area. Definitely something that's fading away in the ski industry now of a quiet kind of locals mountain, you know, slow double chairs, the snow falling, the big timber, the hemlocks, the spruce, it's, it's fantastic. I had never heard about Yule Crest. I knew about Juno, but I never knew that there was a ski area here. It's crazy, you drive over the bridge and you're fully on an isolated island. A real life island. <laughs> we arrived on our flight at like 10 a.m. and drove straight to Eagle Crest. I think we were skiing before noon and it was like a sweet pal day. Eaglecrest is cool. It's got some of the burliest lines that I've skied all season and a lot of really fun, open, playful terrain. Skiing around with Delilah has been a blast. She wants to jump off everything. She wants to ski fast. She brings a really good energy every day we're out together. Yeah. Sophia Rusha is my favorite pro skier. You're my favorite influencer. Sorry, can you just repeat that for the paparazzi? I think we got it. <laughs> At Eagle Crest, it seems everyone's named Mark here. My name's Mark Lambic. Grew up in Juneau, Alaska, and Alaska is my home. We were on the mountain as much as we could. It was Thursday or Friday, the conditions were right. My teachers knew why I wasn't in class that day. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, Mark still got it. Growing up here in Juneau and having Mark Lambic as kind of a early snowboard inspiration is really cool because I didn't know him when I got started. I just knew him from videos, from all the standard movies. And so it's been really cool coming home and getting to take some runs with him at our home mountain together. It's been so fun following Mark around his home mountain. I mean, he knows this place like the back of his hand. Watching both Marks ride, Rainery and Landvik, has been so cool. They're both airing off everything. It's so cool getting to see Juno through the eyes of a local, like getting to follow Landvik and Rainery around the town and see all the like local spots and then also hit all the spots on the mountain has been awesome. I mean, on and off the mountain, he was such a great tour guide to Eagle Crest and Juneau, besides the time where he pelted me in the face with a snowball. <laughs> and I definitely hope that he follows me back on Instagram someday. It's always fun bringing people to Juneau, it's stuff that we grew up with that we don't necessarily take for granted but don't realize how beautiful and cool Juneau, Alaska is. We made it out to Nugget Falls up by Mendenhall Glacier and saw some of the most beautiful icy waterfalls I've ever seen in the winter. Growing up in Juneau is a great place. It just has a real sense of community. You know, there's so much stuff to do there as far as fishing, hiking. It's really cool to be able to be up there in the Alpine and some of the deepest snowpack I've skied all year and drive 25 minutes right down to the water and explore tide pools and climb on rocks. Juneau's an outdoor community. People are passionate about skiing and biking and mountain climbing. In the winter, Eagle Crest is it. Well, I'm Albert Shaw. Uh, my grandfather came to Juneau in 1898. As I started trying, you know, finding out what you needed if you were going to have a ski area, you got to have the mountain first. We have it. You need north and east facing slopes. We have it. The other part of this that other ski areas would love to have is a road with no avalanche problems. When we went for the election to get that okay, 
we lost one precinct, which shows you that the support was in the community. Eagle Crest is owned and operated by the city and borough of Juneau, which is the capital city of Alaska. I think people take pride in having one of the best city parks. You know, it is everybody's resources that are making it work. You know, my daughter Miriam started skiing very shortly after she learned to walk. When she did start skiing Eagle Crest, it was every weather, every day. Don't ask us to do anything on Saturdays and Sundays during ski season because we'll be up the mountain from start to finish. That community vibe comes through because we're all neighbors. So you start to feel that as you interact around and you stand in the lift lines, you, you really get a sense of that everybody knows everybody. The vibe is a little bit slower paced, a little bit more low key as far as getting fresh turns first thing in the morning. There's a lot of people who hike up to eat ptarmigan on those powder days because they have to get first tracks, but we're gonna ride Hooter every morning because you can always find a stash of powder somewhere. I love it there, especially with the resorts around the lower 48. It's unreal how long you have to wait for a chair these days. The ski industry is going through a really interesting revolution right now. You know, now we have these big uh, multi-mountain passes and overcrowding and traffic jams. The whole experience has really changed. On a busy Saturday, Sunday weekend with fresh snow, there's maybe 900 people skiing ptarmigan. Maybe a busiest day where 1,200 people at the entire mountain. And with open boundaries, so you can put your skins on, you can hike out. It's a very authentic experience, and sky's the limit on creativity. When the sun comes out, there's this whole ridge that you can hike and see all the inlets and islands that surround this place, and there's just this like grand terrain and mountains as far as I can see. It's spectacular. You can see to the north, you can see the glacier, Mendenhall Towers, Admiralty Island, and you're surrounded by ocean. It's definitely the best view I've ever seen at a ski resort, hands down. I mean, when I think of Alaska, I think I want to come out and ski big open terrain and everything above tree line and get panoramic views of the water. And here at Eagle Crest, we've got it all. Plus the town of Juneau, it's more than just a small ski town. It's got this whole other small town, small city vibe in itself. There's tons of breweries, really fun people. And from the guides at APD to everyone who's running the ski resort, it's been a really friendly, welcoming environment. Getting in the helicopter for the first time was really nerve-wracking, but it was unreal once we lifted off, and I can't imagine a better environment than Alaska, where you've got huge mountains and the ocean right there all laid out below you. As soon as you get up in a helicopter here on a sunny day, just being out in the mountains around the glaciers, it's hard to not have one of the best days of skiing of your life. I think it's pretty wild that you can be skiing at Eagle Crest and then get a call that the sky's clearing and you can drive down to the heliop and get in a helicopter the same evening and get out for some evening turns. That was pretty spectacular. Mountains I've looked at for 
over a decade. It's one of the most unbelievably beautiful places I've, I've ever seen. That doesn't get old. We get to see some of the most beautiful terrain, you know, really on earth from the view of the helicopter and sharing, you know, the enjoyment people get and the smiles on everyone's faces. When they get to get out and experience it and ski here in Alaska is pretty special. Eagle Crest is the hidden gem in the Pacific Northwest. Not a lot of people know we're out here. It's a big reason why people have moved and stayed in Juneau is for having this experience, having this type of mountain to share with their kids and their neighbors. It's a big reason why people stay and come to Juneau. And a lot of people really feel that.